Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend read for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, I'm sorry that this is out a little bit late, but as you know, I've been moving and I had some internet issues, so I apologize, guys. Okay, so let's get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Scorpios, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what love messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? All right, guys, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and like, share, comment, click that red subscribe button um, and that notification bell. I do choose winners every single week, guys. I give away free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, okay? It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so make sure you click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? So guys, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, I am having a huge blowout sale right now. I know with the coronavirus that a lot of people are either out of work or they're transitioning between you know, uh, the workplace and, and having to work from home. So um, I'm doing what I can to help out. So a huge blowout sale on personal readings. Um, the information is in the description box below with the new pricing. You could just click on book a reading and all the new pricing will come up, okay? If you would like to follow Follow me on Instagram, check out my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, um, which I haven't had much time to work on, but we'll get there. Um, you know, my new, uh, timeless uh, collective readings, my tarot collection, everything is in the description box below, okay? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, Scorpio, okay? So, guys, the, what I got was a typical, the good old-fashioned sense of, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder, okay? I feel like you are on the out and out with somebody, um, you weren't talking to this person maybe, or even if you live with this person, you know, just you walls were up, you know, yeah, see the four of cups here, you know, ignoring each other, just not talking, you, you, got, you were annoyed over something, okay? Um, but the fact of the matter is, Scorpio, this is your person, you know what I'm saying? This is your person. Um, the commitment is real, the connection is stable, and things are going to change and start getting back to the way they were, okay? So there was a little spiff here, there was maybe some, you know, ugly feelings for a minute there, and you know, I'm going to stab you in the eye if you come close to me and all that good fun stuff. But now I feel that, you know, it's going to come together. Okay. It's going to come together. Um, you know, you, it, it, distance always kind of makes the heart grow fonder. So let's see what we have here, guys. So we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here and it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So someone here feels like, I feel like, I feel like someone is attracted to, um, somebody's somebody just makes them feel safe it's like it's like their safe place it's like the nurturing that loving you know there's something that the other person does that that gives them this feeling of being home kind of okay and what we have here is true love this is the romance of a lifetime and keep an open mind your soul may differ from your usual types and expectations so guys what i'm feeling here is the rift may have been a little bit over jealousy one person here is fully committed the other person here is in love also but they may have a little bit of a straying eye because there's three people you know in this picture so there may have been a little spiff or a little fight over that so let's see what we have here we have the four of pentacles so I, I automatically just heard in my ear someone because we've got chemistry in the four of pentacles so someone was holding back sexually <laughs> <laughs> someone was in the doghouse and not getting any sexy time um but we have the two of cups you know what i'm saying oh no the lover's card excuse me lover's card gemini energy um so someone was holding back on the love somebody was not showing how they felt but this is a soulmate connection we have the six of wands and we have the ten of swords okay so under it's safe for you to love, I felt, I feel like one person here put in a lot of work, a lot of energy, and now they were successful in, um, 
they know how to, okay, Scorpio, I feel like this is your side. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? I feel like this is your side, and I feel like your pincher came out a little bit because you guys can be very loving, very sexual, very kind, very, you know, amorous, okay? But when someone pisses you off, that pincher comes out, and you will win, okay, Scorpio? You will win, you know what I'm saying? So you can either, like, it's. I'm getting, like, that energy of, like, listen, what you get out of me is what you put in. So if you want me to be pissed off, off, I'm gonna hurt you you know what I'm saying and if you want me to if you want to love me I'll make you feel safe and everything else okay so we've got the hermit card Virgo energy here you know if you want me to love you I will love you but if you if you rub me the wrong way I will withdraw and I will hurt you I will I will take out my stinger and I will hurt you okay now here we have the strength card Leo energy with the tower yeah, see, you holding back from this person. The strength card is all about taming your emotions, pulling back, withdrawing. So you withdrawing your love from this person was like a huge chain, a huge tower. It was like their whole world kind of came apart. You understand? And here we have the justice card, Libra energy, and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. So guys, you know, I feel like this person is slowly, because the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy, starting to understand that there needs to be balance. And they, they're starting to understand that what they did to you was unfair, Scorpio, okay? And this could be vice versa. It could be vice versa. Now, here we have the Moon card here, um, Piscean, Cancerian energy. I feel like this person feels very left out by you. They feel like left out in the dark, okay? Like, right now, somebody is walking across their living room, and their person is sitting there, and you're not even looking at them at all. Like it could be like they're just not existent. So I feel like this person literally feels invisible even if they're standing right in front of you. You're pissed about something here and you're going to stay that way until this person learns their lesson. Okay. Here we have discovery. <laughs> <laughs> discovery and hidden motivations yeah someone here got caught doing something that they shouldn't be doing okay I don't feel like it was that you know maybe it wasn't that serious but it was enough to really like maybe someone was looking up another person's profile or somebody likes somebody's picture on Instagram you know something like that right so here we have letting go and teacher okay yeah see you're letting go of giving that love to teach this person a lesson Scorpio, or someone is letting you go to teach you a lesson. I don't know. You take it as it resonates. Um, so for the challenge here, we've got the page of pentacles. An apology needs to come here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. If that apology comes, what's crossing this? Ten of cups. You'll have your little fireplace. Everybody will be good. To, you know, like I said, those good times are going to roll in, but there's got to be an apology here, okay? So the outcome, we've got the five of cups and the world. So someone here is starting to realize their mistake. Someone here is starting to feel guilty someone here is starting to realize that they need to apologize and with the world card here I don't feel an ending I don't feel that the relationship is going to end but I do feel that this behavioral pattern that this person was bringing to the table is going to end okay so I just feel like you know whatever it was that was disturbing this relationship that cycle is now over so let's go ahead and clarify guys spirit tell me about the four of pentacles <clears throat> Yeah, see, you were holding back with the Three of Cups. You were holding back possibly because you thought this person maybe had a third-party situation. And for you, that's like hell to the nay-nay, right? Hell to the nay-nay. Watch me skip my ass out this door if you think you're going to be cheating on me. Um, or it could just be that you held back from laughing with this person, loving this person, going out to eat with this person. You know, maybe you stopped making them dinner. Or, you know what I'm saying? You just stopped associating with them. Okay. And I feel that for a lot of you, you maybe you lived in the same house because it's just so like, I keep getting this vision of like two people in the kitchen and one person is like non-existent. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about the lover's card. We've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Yeah, someone here, right now, maybe you guys are marrying each other where nobody's talking to the other person, but one person has to give in and apologize. Or I feel that, you know, whoever's on this side is expecting an apology. And they're going to get it. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, uh, Six of Wands. Yeah, see, someone's coming out of the cold, and this side is winning. <laughs> That's the winning side. And look, Six of Wands again. So we've got the Six of Wands and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? So this person isn't even worried. They know that they're going to win. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Wow, that came flying out. Yeah, this person knows they're an Empress. They know. 
Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. And this person has their faith. They got God on their side. They don't, they know, they know that they, they're sitting back graceful as hell. And just with this person withdrawing their love, they know it's a tower moment for this person. Tell me about this hermit. Yeah, you see? Eight of swords. <sighs> So this person knows that with holding back their love is going to drive this person crazy. So let's see here. Tell me about the strength card. Yep, there we go. Tower again. Tower again. You holding back or this person holding back from you makes this person nuts. We've got the tower and the tower twice. Tell me about the tower. There you are. Scorpionic energy. Divine masculine deeply loyal deeply loving deeply emotional not talking about it not showing it not doing nothing we're done i know that you hurt me that you were being sneaky that you cheated on me that apology better be big and it better be pricey my dude or my girl my chick whatever you know that that apology better come with a bling to it <laughs> spirit tell me about the justice card oh 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 yeah, see, someone here with the Ace of Swords found out the truth about something, okay? Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Yeah, this knight is yearning and missing. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, see, this uh, holding back that love is going to close this cycle. See, we got the world there again. It's going to close the cycle and turn this knight into a king. We got the Knight of Pentacles turning into the King of Pentacles. So guys, yeah, I mean, you holding back a little bit here or your person holding back from you is going to bring this together and everything is going to be a-okay. So we have date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan setting a date. So someone here may have met someone new. The sword and the rose in the reverse. Clarity, truth, revelation. Yes, yeah, someone lied. Someone met someone new and lied. There may have been a third party here. I like you, but in the reverse. So it may have just been chemistry between these two people because they didn't really like it, okay? Um, I feel like this person maybe just fed their ego. You know what I'm saying? Like they just fed their ego. Yeah, this person wasn't thinking with cassette in reverse. Whoever did this was not thinking at all. What do we have as the outcome spirit? We have the phoenix, rekindle, time with friends. Yeah, so there's going to be a break, some time with friends, and then there's going to be rekindling with the phoenix, transformation, change mind. So yeah, you guys are going to come back together. I feel like this may have happened, and under the deck, of course, we've got love and abundance and kisses and kisses okay so yeah there there was a little bit of a rift here may have may have been due to some jealousy over a third party or something like that i don't feel like anything serious happened there may have been some flirting here you know maybe it fed the other person's ego but ultimately you guys are going to be fine okay i love you guys and i will see you soon guys please be sure to wash your hands and be careful my uncle was just diagnosed with the virus earlier today he's in new york um you know it doesn't really seem real until it hits your family but it is very very real so guys please be safe i love you take care bye